So where do we stand and uh, what are we trying to accomplish here besides just running? Well, I know we got the tank fixed. Yeah, we built a new tank. Um, it's got fuel in it. The bottom tank is completely full. The top tank's got enough to prove it's not going to leak. Okay. Um, the things that I recall from last year that caught us out were running the boost pump with anything other than the idle cutoff lever pulled right back, which will create a big flood of gas. And the other one is, to my mind, is that what appears to be the idle cut off is in fact the prop control. Right, yeah, near, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the yeah. prop control is nearer the, the pilot yeah, leg. Yeah, yeah. It it's is. the one yeah. on the box. Exactly. Okay, because I looked in there the other day, yeah. and then the, the, the idle, just make sure it's yeah. an idle cut off to put the boost pump on to get pressure for the yeah. primer. and then kill the boost Then turn pump. it off. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. When you hit the master switch or the camera master switch that you should have before that you should have a low pressure light on the right hand side of the panel as soon as you hit that fuel pump switch that should go out instantly uh, okay i good. think that probably the micro switches for the gears are stuck so i don't I mean i can't do anything with that well jacket, yeah so. well obviously i'm not going to fly but, but no. yeah if it runs good but if you we got drive it around yeah okay if you've got both brakes are there it'll need time to bring the pressure okay. up again but okay. you'll know soon all right okay. starts to come up so. all right well it'll be familiar it, we got a fire bottle and as long as we don't have fuel pouring out, we ought to be safe to uh, crank it up and taxi around. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Yeah. And it'll be smoky because I've got a piece of water in all the cylinders. So. I want to hug you a headset. Okay. okay. Okay, so I'll cut off and get the primer. I got the fuel on. You've the probably actually pump. got enough fuel in it at this point, but you might need it. What do you think? I have no clue. Six. All right. All right. Well, we'll try that. I can always pump more in if I need it. Yep. Okay. The, it's uh, got chocks. Clear. Clear. It's going like that. What was? That? Oh, that's the booster. Yeah. Right. Starter's dead. Oh. No battery. No. It can't be. Well, that was short and quick, wasn't it? Does the boost pump have to be on? No, no. No. I, but I, I didn't have it on. I should have had it on. Um, no, that's a direct... Nothing. Nada. Yeah. It's like the battery's dead. Is it connected? Well, it's got to be connected. It's got to be. Yeah. It just, a little light's going to come on over here, and I'm going to push the buttons, and nothing's going to happen. Okay, ready? Good. All right, so we got the light. Okay, this mag switches are over here. Now the booster coil is working, but the starter is not. Are you clear? Yeah. Oh. Who's now? Oh, there we go. Okay. Let me get the boost pump. I don't on. know, dirty switches maybe. There we go. <laughs>
things as a list, but that's all right. <laughs> Not too bad. You know, I don't remember. I kind of remember it's the last time. There's no tag. Tag zero. Oh, again, re yeah, we fixed it. We sent it out and had it done. Yeah, it's well, man, did you hook it back up again? <laughs> did, yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, just double check. The, yeah, I'll uh, run it up, but it's probably just stuck. But, the, you know, I don't know what it is with the, the brakes, but, like, you know, I went ahead and I just kind of ran it. When I had no tack, I didn't know what kind of RPM I had. Yeah, I saw but it was I, creeping. But yeah. I could see with the boost. Yeah. I was I was at about minus four, minus three boost, you know, so probably 22 inches or something like that, and it was starting to creep. Yeah, I, saw I could that. never get it to, to zero. But the problem is what you got to be careful of is when I first ran it up, I had it on the parking brake. Okay, ah. but what you got to do is if you run it up, sometimes if the tail's too light, the tail will come up. You got to be able to let the brakes go so the airplane right. will go forward. Right, right, right. So, anyway, so the next time I did it, I, I was pulling on it and you saw that it was creeping. Okay, so the brakes are creeping. I mean, if they fly that way, do they need to be scuffed up? Well, that's what I was saying to whoever I was talking to. Yeah, there could be surface rust on the drums again now. Right. Well, but also too, that was I, I, I'm just I'm kind of getting familiar with it again. But that was at about 80 pounds of brake pressure. Now maybe more brake pressure, they would hold better. I think the, the brakes are limited to a lower pressure than the rest of the system, but I could be wrong. Well, it actually the the system, you know, on the triple pressure gauge. Right. The, the right and the left to go up to 120, but I only I, I went ahead and started taxing at 80, right. which sounded about right. And I kept watching it to make sure that I always had brake pressure. Yeah. Um, but by that amount of time, the oil and the radiator were up into, into where you go run up. Right. So um, anyway, Max Master Fuel. Um, I guess you want to fly it then. Yeah, yeah, great. <laughs> yeah, we just need a tack. Also, too, there's a couple of switches that were out of place. The supercharger is supposed to be an auto, and it was a manual. But, right. But what went around anyway? So, but I'll and at some point, you know, we'll taxi it around again, get more familiar with it. I'll before we ever get close to flying it, I'll pull the manual out and really do a real short sure. pressure. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you what. While I'm sitting here, you want to check the flaps because I still got pressure. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Yeah, they should. Be. You haven't got enough pressure. No, but they didn't go down one at a time, did they? No, well, they did then, but you haven't got enough. They should slam down as a pair. Well, they better not go down no, one at a time. No, you have a problem. Yeah, you got no pressure. All right, okay. Um, that, that'll all be part of the, the, the new annual. I, I'll put it on the air bottle, make sure they're working properly. No, it'd be great to get it flying again. Oh, my God. It's, such great it's so pretty when it's out there. <laughs> it's the best. I know you, I didn't get any green lights on those. No, I, I already knew that from this morning when I powered it up. For the I think gear. the switches are just okay. going up again. All right. Okay. What did you say to me about the fuel pressure warning light like right at the start? Did it? Yeah. It did or it didn't or it. No, as soon as you turn the master switch on, it comes on. Yeah, it should. And then I'm pretty, sh I'm pretty sure it went off. I didn't. It's almost instantaneous. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, that was good. And uh, and the whole time I was taxiing around, the boost pump was off. So. Good. All right, well, that's good stuff. Yeah, good. All right. Beautiful airplane. <laughs> All right, so we got a run in on the uh, Spitfire here. It's been a while since we ran it again last. When we did, we found out there was a fuel tank leak up here, which necessitated way more work than we expected. But it was really great that we looked at it. Um, I think Andy says the carburetor was redone a couple of years ago. And, uh, you know, we were working towards getting it flying again. I hadn't flown it in a long time. Um, there was some, there was like an AD airworthiness directive on the landing gear bolts that somebody had built this up with. And that was the reason why we didn't fly it for a long time because it took a couple of years to get the bolts. And by the time we, you know, we had moved on to other things and then the airplane sat. So anyway, a uh, year and a half, a couple of years ago, we started working on it, getting the, redoing all the hoses, sent the carburetor out. Um, just did this run here. Uh, I still don't have a tachometer for some reason. Uh, re familiar familiarizing myself with the airplane. I haven't flown it in a very long time. I'm ashamed to say it's such a beautiful airplane in the collection. we got to get it flying again, so uh, uh, hopefully soon.